what's up? It's episode what? What number are we on? Four? Four. Number of four. Flex high. A flex high. Usual as usual, your boy Rico. Rico, Rico flex. flex TV. That's right. And RPG search. RPG search. Um, yes, man. So what what we've we been up to? What anything new? Anything new? We got a... Before we get into the stupid stories. Before we get to the stupid stories, I mean for me, uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get uh, fit, have trying you, to lose the weight. Have you finished the work on your house? You said you were doing, like, upgrades to your, like, roofing? Well, I finished the, yeah, I finished the roof, bro. I finished the roof. Was it just the roof or, like, the the edges? You know how, like, some houses have cuts on the sides? Like, that's how the design is? Um. Well, it's just the roof. They, they, they replaced any uh, old wood. That was needed to be replaced and just put the. What are like the benefits though? Like, what do you gain aside from getting no water in your house? (laughs) Well, I mean, it just lasts longer. It looks nice, and you don't have to be worrying about leaves coming through your house. Cause and and you didn't. I mean, for me, it probably keeps squirrels shit and out too, right? Like, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of those creatures out of your. Because when I used to live with my parents, that happened once, and that shit was trippy, boy. Being a little kid and you just hear. Like on the roof, yeah, you know that shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck was that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was just gay. Nah, yeah, just a little. Uh, the next step will be is doing the inside, cause I've been putting the inside like for way too long. So because of the roof. So, so now that I did the roof, I can work on. You going all out on your little like dream house, huh? Uh it's not a dream house. It's just a little project house. I'm gonna end up just running. Well, I know it. it's not like a dream house, but like, it's your starter house. Yeah, no, yeah. That, that's yeah. why you gonna be in that bitch for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go crazy because I really don't want to spend the money on things that I really don't need. So I'm going to just upgrade the, the bathroom yeah, and the like kitchen. Yeah, but like long essential item things like for the house. <coughs> like the roofing, obviously, that's going to help a lot. Do, do you have like an air system or is it just like heaters? and? Yeah, it's just a heater. I'm a, that's, that's what I'm going to Yeah, I got to put the central, uh, central air on. Mm. The AC unit, yeah, but that's like probably like I don't know if I think you know it's what like five thousand dollars, bro. That motherfucker, oh, that it's like nineteen. Well, all houses are gonna be like that unless nineteen fifty eight or nineteen sixty eight, something, <coughs> something like that. Nineteen sixty, true. You're gonna have to redo the whole floor, not the whole floor, but like. The edges of the, yeah yeah if you do the framing yes if you do the and I'm a, <coughs> system yeah I saw this house when I was working this lady had a nice uh like the interior bro from the outside it looks like <coughs> it looks normal you go inside the house bro it's like luxurious it's nice I was like okay I'm like so I'm kind of getting ideas from different homes like homeowners and stuff like mm-hmm. that like for example this homeowner has a nice backyard it's like. That's a nice patio. It has the benches, the little grill. Mm. It's like chill. It's, I, I, I want to do that to the best. So it's got like a little balcony outside for the grill, or it's like a grill? Nah, it's on one like, floor? No, no. Wait, what are you talking about? My house or? What, what, what or place are you looking at? You're, you're talking about a whole different house. Right? Yeah, I was talking about the homeowners that I saw. Like in their backyard, they got like the brick. Like they put like, they paved it. and mm. It's a nice setup, bro. It's just nice. I'm just kind of getting ideas to do it on my own property and stuff. That must be dope. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. That's part of the reason why I got like an apartment because I don't want to settle in one spot yet. Because I don't know. Well, I mean, you don't have to settle. It's because I want to have. I know I don't have to, but it, it would be nice to, you know. Have your own place. To have something I get to keep at the end. Yeah. I mean, if you really. I don't know, bro. I would just start small, I guess. Like, for me, I don't know. Well, I the just... thing is, I want all my amenities to be nearby. Like, I want to have a gas station nearby. I want to oh, have well, like obviously, a... yeah, you got to look, you got to do your research. Obviously, you're not going to get the first thing that you see. Fuck around, get a house. Because that's, that's what I did. And then you I, got... I, I was looking, we were looking at ugly uh, ugly properties, and uh, we saw this, the one that I'm at right now, and then they kind of remodeled it, and I was like, oh, this is it. And that was my mistake. Cause, Cause like, if you get, if you want your area to be nice and quiet, you're not gonna have the good stores near your house. You know, you gotta go somewhere where there's yeah. A lot of people. It depends where you're trying to move, man. Do you prefer a quiet area or it just being like popping and fucking loud all the time? Nah, I mean, I'll say quiet, quiet area. But um, 
What? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about like, you know, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be racist, but like the white neighborhoods, because uh-huh. like if you go to a white neighborhood, like talking about like I don't know Gurney or I feel Libertyville or something like that, they're gonna be complaining and they're gonna have the feds and they're gonna have to deal with all that. Because <laughs> I mean, I like to have fun, you know, I like to have yeah. little kickbacks, little parties, but I feel like white neighborhoods are more into like they're not afraid to go up to random people. Like, people you don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, they're it, friendly, bro. Yeah. Well, it, it's like flipping a coin. It's either things will go off good. Yeah. You know, depending yeah. on how they walk up to you. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't know. I just feel, I mean, there's probably not all of them, right? But I just feel like they're sensitive, bro. And then, I don't know, they're racist. Hmm. Or they just don't like. Because for me, bro, I'm definitely not. Because it could be. Probably just that one area you just happen to be. Maybe like it was like you had a bad experience and now you feel like that type stuff. Nah, cause I mean I see it. I, I, see, I have some friends that have. Um, there's this guy, bro. He lives like in a private, uh, private like property, I guess, private area. Um, and they are nice. They he says that uh, that um, the first day that they moved in, they came up to him and they welcomed to the neighborhood and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But then yet again, um, he's the only like smoker in that area so he gets a lot of attention you know what i mean Mm. like not i guess good okay let's talk about like all right when you're just like let's say you have a full day off but you don't want to be at home and mm, i don't i don't think it matters if you're with people or not right but would you go up to people and talk to them like if it was just just trying to make conversation or would you just wait wait say it again (laughs) so like would you rather be, would you be willing to talk to people just to, it's like, not to gain information, but like. Just to make combo? I don't know. Kind of like, not making friends, that's kind of weird. Yeah. But like. So just like talking to people? Yeah, just making that small conversation for like the in the moment. Maybe, yeah. I mean, depending on where it is. Because that's happened to me only a couple times, but it's like. It's either outside me talking about work with not workers, but like, you know, people. Yeah. And then at, when it's like, <sighs> fuck, I don't know how to word it. But like you, you you're saying that you go up to the to the people and start talking to them, make a small combo. Yeah. At the random. Yeah. Like, do you do shit like that? Uh, I mean, I haven't. I, I, I I've done it. I've done it before. People have come up to me and done it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. But I don't get that energy to want to, to do it. To oh, okay, to really go. Yeah, I mean, it happened to me. When was it? Oh, just it happened Sunday, to Saturday. you, as in you did it. No, no, it happened to me, as in them, the people coming to me. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was at the liquor store and I bought a six pack of uh, Heineken, mm-hmm. and then this this uh, African American guy, he's just, uh, hey man, you should fuck with the Stellas, and I was like, because I was walking towards my truck, and then I hear this voice in my back, and I turn around, and I'm like. Oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a. What I said, I said, uh, I don't know what the fuck you I, I said. said I, I said I keep it in mind. I keep it in mind, or something like that. And then I, I guess I kind of threw him off or something. But I mean, we were like freaking twenty feet away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it was just random. I guess he's like, hey, I mean, that's kind of. I mean, I will. But you uh, would never start that shit, right? Like you would. I never would start it with like, a girl hey, more than with a dude. Yeah, but like, if just, you do it with a girl, I'm sure you're, you're just trying to like. Get their number or some shit, right? Ah, uh, not not. So you would I mean, go, you would go up to a girl, just make that little bit of conversation without asking. Well, aside from asking for her name, and then just leave and never. Yeah, because I mean, eventually, if it's meant to be, you're gonna see that person again. And then when that does happen, you're like, ah, okay, you know what I mean? That's what I think. That's why, because mean. oh. it's happened before, bro. Like I just talked to this random girl I've never seen before, asking for her name. Maybe her Snapchat, and then just never, never, never uh, hit her back or anything. And then I see her again, and I'm like, hey, what's up? But, and like, then, can you do that without asking for a Snapchat or anything? Mm, or you, you, like, not maybe even, if I You think might that, not even have to say your name. Be like, so how the fuck are these, like, chicharrones right now, like, selling, you know? I would do that. Like, if you're in, but if not, you're, if, if you're in line to get, like, some, like, tacos and shit. Yeah. You're like, what you think of that barbacoa? Well, that shit look dry, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, if I think the girl's like pretty or cute or attractive, I would say something like that. Some random. Small. But not if it was a dude. <sighs> Maybe. 
I have to be like in a certain mood, I guess. I'll be just like lit, you know, just happy. Something mm. good just happened. I just like, hey, just start talking to people about whatever. Mm. Why? Because you said that happens to you a lot? No, I just, it's not like I want to talk. I don't want to talk to people, <laughs> but I want to want to talk to people. Mm. Well, you got to start somewhere, bro. I don't know. Because that's just like uh, me wanting to be uh, a millionaire and then I never take action and like in nah. learning new skills or something like that. that. That's way different though. I'm talking like personality wise. Like you can't I mean, change how it, you feel. You can't change how you feel. Yeah, you can. No, I'm saying but I'm like working on it right now. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm just telling you, you can because <laughs> I ain't done it, bro. True. It's, you just gotta, you just gotta. It depends who you, um, what you said, who your circle, what is it? What's that word called? <laughs> it's just who you hang out with, bro. Who yeah. you surround yourself with. You fuck with Tesla, though. Hell yeah. SUV, car, the race, the bro, fast ones or the. I don't know. All of them? Any any Tesla. I like the SUV ones. I like chilling with the like, butterfly. Like I don't butterfly care. Noise. I don't care about going stupid fast or how loud the car is. Yeah. Well, Teslas aren't loud. It's, yeah, no. Yeah. Nah, just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the only down. No, nah, like. Well, that's the only, down uh, because con, you like the, you like the the fucking nah, engine and shit, right? Yeah. I like my, me and my friend were talking about. I don't like, like hearing shit, but just how clear my music sounds when I'm driving. Right. You know what I'm saying? True. Like if you have the windows down and it like. A little bit counsels outside because you still gotta hear like the ambulances and the cops uh-huh. passing by. So that's what you do. You keep the little window down, little crack. No, don't crack it all the way shut, so it cuts audio. Like also, you outside, have mo- outside noise. So you don't care then. No, I just want the music. Right. <laughs> and me in the right. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Teslas are nice. They're expensive, but they're nice. Why are you thinking of getting one? That's like what I want my last car to be. Your last car? Yeah, like once I got a good amount of money. Right. You don't get that. Uh, what is it? The Model X? No. Uh, is yeah, the X is the SUV, right? I think so. Yeah, because Model S is the the car. Dude, they make tequila now. That that's crazy, bro. I heard something about I that. I wonder is is brown? Is dark liquor? Uh, it's like whiskey. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know what it tastes like. That bitch is probably stupid expensive. You think so? I like that he's mainly like a... Like, he does his space stuff. Yeah. But, like, he does dope random shit on the side. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's an entrepreneur, bro. That dude. Yeah, like, cars. That dude's mind's liquor. going crazy, What's man. the flamethrower one, right? He has a flamethrower? It's called not a flamethrower, so he can ship it. No way. And it's an actual flamethrower. Yeah. It comes with everything it? but the tank, I think. Right. How much is it? They stopped making it because it's like a seasonal thing. Oh, okay. But it was 500. <laughs> it's a seasonal thing? Yeah. Like, I'm sure they're going to do the tequila bad, for a while. You like, it's so? not going to, you know what I mean? Hmm. Unless the tequila smacks, it might be if it's the price is good. Because I don't know what the price is. It could be stupid expensive or decent. You're just saying that because it's Tesla? I mean, how much is the expensive tequila out there? But it, it's like in a fancy. It looks like a lightning bolt bottle, and mm. it has like the Tesla logo with the. Well, steel. it's just it's just marketing, man. That's all it is. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be expensive, but not stupid expensive. I know. I mean, or then yet again, it could be because you're saying that it might be seasonal. If it's seasonal, it's gonna be something. It has to be something different. You turn into a robot or something. <coughs> Gives you a bionic. Which, what, what do you think would be fair? Like, <coughs> like 80 bucks, 120? I don't know. Probably like 200. 200? 240? Because yeah, a nice, decent bottle of tequila um, is some, like around 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. 100 something, maybe, depending on the year. Squeak, squeak. 
Hmm? What you drinking, man? Water. I got this on you. I, I fucking took like a like a one two week break from uh, sweet from drinking water. Like I did drink water, but I was also drinking like sweet, sweet tea and shit. Yeah. But I want to try to lose weight faster, you know. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's good, man. Yeah, I, I've just, done the same thing. It's because I drink put a lot more than I eat. Mm-hmm. Like I still haven't eat. I mean, it's it's just just make the math. Your body's made out of like seventy five percent water, so it'll be. Um. It'll be uh, what's that one word? It'll be uh, normal, I guess, to drink more water. You have uh, stocks, right? Yeah. Like we don't have to talk numbers, but right. What's nah, it it's just it's. I mean, it's it's small, bro. I know it's pretty dope. I got like five different ones right now, and they're all like above five percent. It's pretty dope, bro. Uh, that's good. Yeah. What uh, what program are you using? Mm, the one with the big ass leaf. Big ass leaf. Uh. Big ass leaf. It starts with an A or an F. It's not. I don't think it's acorns. Right. It's the other. This the other green one. Atlas? No, it's not Atlas. Oh, I don't think I, I don't think I've, I've, I've seen it. That was good then. I mean, five percent is real good. I mean, the more I'm you, the more sure you the invest, doesn't matter. Is the, the, the people you're betting on, you know? Yeah. No, I just. But bought, it does. I mean, I just bought when it was negative, so it'd be cheaper. And then, it was, it was ones that I think. Are gonna go up, go up. right? Because I'm pretty sure what they're if, all getting hit now because of like, you know Corona and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's going crazy. And it's going <clears throat> fucking. It's going faster now. Restaurants might close. Like dining. Yeah, I seen that. I see. I started seeing that a little bit. <sighs> man, that sucks, man. Hopefully they don't close the gym, bro. Companies are fighting back though. They're like, nah, we're not closing shit. I mean, shit, do whatever you have to do. You know, if you got to clean the freaking store three times a day. If they say, if it's not groceries, gas, or, you know, something you need, <clears throat> are you still going to go to, like, dining and shit? Are you still going to go to, like, Best Buy and shit? Are you asking me? Yeah. If they don't close? Yeah, like, if the state says, yeah, you can't be going to these shops, are you still going to go if they open? Yeah. Yeah. Because what are, what, what, if the cop was your, what is he going to say? They can have people parking lot tickets all day. True. Damn, I, mean, I forgot about the And ticket. they don't even have to touch, like, they don't have to be mm. near you. Right. They just go up to your car, smack that sticker, mm. Corona free. Take out the place. And with winter, they're going to have gloves on. So they just sanitize the gloves all day. It's not impossible. You just basically, you just basically everything you just said. You want to make me change my mind and shit. Like, okay, no, I'm not going. I'm staying there. <laughs> I mean, I'm just giving you a, a, right, a, dif- no, a no, different, yeah, yeah. a different view. Right. You no, know? Yeah. Because it's, I like looking at it from both ways. Like, I take in with the way you said it, and I see, like, I try to see it from a different, like, someone yeah, that's, someone been, that's yeah, not I've been you. noticing, bro. I've been noticing that. I'm like, damn, well, like, that, like, just go with me. Like, just <laughs> agree with me. Nah, you gotta go all the way around. <laughs> but I like that, because it kind of challenges and challenges me, But I'm too. not saying you're wrong. No, you're no, right. right. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, you're just saying your point. It's but, just yeah. like, what if this shit happened, bro? Right, yeah, Things to consider. Yeah. I like that. I like that way of thinking. <clears throat> A lot of people don't. Dude, like what? Three days, I think. Four days. PS Five is coming out. Yeah, bro. But did you find one yet? Like a pre-order spot? <clears throat> There's my 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 friend works at the base, bro. But uh, she's saying you gotta be in line early in the morning, and she's like, I ain't gonna do that. It's gonna nah, be a line. Cool. So I'm gonna just have to wait, bro. You think they, they're gonna sell them online, though? Black Friday, you think? I don't think like for the first two. Like the day it releases, right? The first no, two days, yeah, no. the first two days, like the I think it comes out the twelfth, the thirteenth, and the fourteenth. They're still not gonna be yeah. ready. Yeah, 
Probably, hopefully, on like the third Pro- or fourth. When you think probably by December will be straight, December first. No? My brother got one, and the pre-order thing. Oh. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> he was, We gotta he, we gotta bring him out here so we could. Uh... He was there when they just opened it. Yeah. Like they opened the servers, and he the first time he tried to buy it, the servers crashed. Mm. So but he see, just refreshed I mean, it. Just imagine how many people are trying to get it at. Yeah, he just refreshed it. And they opened up for a little bit, and he barely got to buy it. Wow. So yeah. you got lucky. Yeah. I still haven't gotten one. <clears throat> Man. I don't know. I'm I don't excited, know though. I'm yeah. excited. Cause... I don't know why, but, like, the first game I think I want to play is probably the Spider-Man one. I, I haven't played a good, like, uh, Marvel game. Marvel. Mm-hmm. I think, like, the last good one was, like, the Marvel versus Capcom. But that was more of a fighter. Mm. It wasn't just Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, you want to be swinging around the buildings and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, Fucking... well, I, think what, what was, I think, what was it, Spider-Man? They have, like, a fuck ton. The main Please. reason I want to play it, they have a fuck ton of different outfits. Like, okay. some outfits even change how the... How you look. The, how, how, like, the game looks. Because yeah. he'll have, like, I think, like, a black and white one. Like, a comic book one oh, and wow. shit. She looks fucking dope. Mm. And I can only yeah, imagine how many more there is for the Miles Morales one. Because you get two games if you buy the Miles Morales one. Do you? You get the PS4 one with like two or three more outfits. And the... PS5. And the Miles Morales one. Miles Morales one. I mean, I'm just excited to get it, bro. To be able to buy it, because... True. <clears throat> well, I, I bought my first system, was it PS3, when I was like 18, bro. Like, I didn't... I would go to my friend's house and play the PS, uh, was it PS2? I sleep over, you know, play games online and stuff like that. And then I think my first one was like, because my mom was playing video games. No way, for real? Your mom played video games? Yeah. That's and dope. Like, she played the Mario. Yeah, the, right. The, the NES one. Yeah. And she would play was way the, too much. The Nintendo 64? No, no, no. I think it was the NES. NES? Which was that one? The the little square with the AB, the red ones. Huh. It's old. Uh, yeah, it's old. And it's on the beast. my dad was like, all right, you got to stop playing that shit. Give that shit to the kids. No way, for <laughs> and real. And me and my brother would play it. Mm. And then my brother, uh, he's he was like, what, four or six years older than me so he got a job first mm. and then he got like a PC he got the 64 so you, you pretty much just everything he got you got to use it and stuff yeah basically That's sweet. so That's whenever he'd a big go, brother right yeah whenever he was at school right you just or some shit I'd just be hell yeah That's sweet man yeah it was pretty dope that was basically all I did though just played a fuck ton of different video games what a big just went to school game. Uh, good old days. True. You have brothers? Yeah, I got a. Uh, I'm the older brother, bro. So that's why, like, I can see, like, in a way, you're pretty lucky how your brother got ev- <clears throat> how he got everything, and he just kind of got it for free, <coughs> right? Sure. And then. <laughs> You know, it's, it's cool seeing the, what is it, uh, your point of view and then, like, my point of view. I'm like, man, I have to work for everything I got. Like I said, like, yeah, I, I, got my, I got my freaking PS3 when I was 18, bro. So. And you let them use it, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he yeah, benefited from that. You're the one doing it. You're basically. Brett put it on this <laughs> stuff. But, um, yeah, I got a, I got a little brother. He's 15. And then I got two little brothers from my dad's side. See, they're like uh, um, 12 and, no, 11 and 5. That's six years apart. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, What's going to be your first game? Like, the one you're hyped for? Man, be, like, I'm, just, I'm, just, I just, I'm just, I'm excited to play online, bro. <laughs> like what? Multiplayer? Mm-hmm. So Mostly Call of game? Duty, bro. Call uh-huh. of Duty, one that Call of Duty. The Cold War one looks dope. It's gonna have yeah, zombies on it. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. I like how they bring them back. I'm gonna for sure get that one. Yeah. The zombies are looking good on it. 
Yeah. I'm in zombies playing with my homies. Hopefully they have a bunch of old school guns. I like yeah, I like exactly. using like the Tommy gun and the, the fucking gun. MP I think forty. MP forty. Like the old ones. Right, yeah. Where like the It's just the way how like they uh how they reload and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And That's it's like, like they got like the ones that got like forty bullets and it's like the dope animation, like the you see all silver gun, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, the yeah, silver plate. <clears throat> Sometimes if it's like once I'm used to the game and I'm like really good at it, I'll start using like the the shitty old guns, mm. like the rifles. Right. There's like four bullets you gotta reload. Right. Yeah. So like I'll do like four shots, then I'll hit them with the melee oh, okay. and then reload. Mm. I mean, it's I'm just, just excited to play online, bro. <sighs> I'm not really. I haven't really searched any or uh, done my research on the games that are going to be coming out, but just excited to be playing online, especially right now. Winter's coming. I'm not really planning on going out much. Just chilling, being at the crib. And I got my PS5. What else do I need? You know what I'm saying? True. We get, we get, get online, play with the homies. <sighs> True. I can't already. I can't wait for fucking winter. It's gonna be cold as fuck. I'm gonna be in that corner playing video games. <laughs> no, you're gonna be working up, bro. Well, that too. I didn't <laughs> yeah, say. Th- I didn't off, say bro. that was the whole day. Right, right, right. right. You made it seem though. Hey. Right. It's gonna yeah, be a good part of the day though. It's gonna be a good part of the day though. Nah, but we gonna change this shit. It's gonna be easy. <clears throat> True. We're gonna do it. Uh, fucking yeah. First episode for a different show. We don't know names or anything yet. Yeah, it's gonna be on his channel though. It's going. Um, I don't know. Should I start it? Should that be the first, um, episode for like demasiado? You know what I'm talking about? Whatever you wanna call it, do it. I mean, it's whatever. We still haven't. We don't know the details yet. We're yeah. still thinking ideas. We're still brainstorming. Brain farts. <sighs> True. All types of diarrhea. <laughs> Man, it is. Yeah, man. I'm mostly excited about that, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. True. It's gonna be dope, though. So, how you feel about it? It was like stupid cold, like what, a couple of days ago, and then it, it went from like stupid cold to like stupid hot. For real, it's just warm right here. It's, I don't know. I think. Uh, I don't want to get, uh, you know. You think that's because of the, what's it called? Yeah. The ice melting and shit? Oh, no. I don't know. I feel like it's just times are changing, bro. Like, it's just. What if I 2020 won't... was this change. Yeah. And everybody. Like a just, transition? Yeah. It was just like a new, like, <clears throat> I don't want to get religious, but I feel like God's just like turning the page. What 2020 if this... just like, everybody has to adapt to this world. This is how it's going to be now. What, yeah. what if this area is just straight only snow from now on? Shit. <laughs> That's gonna suck, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, you know what? <laughs> I, you know what? <laughs> See, now you got me thinking like you, bro. Now I could, I could just change my field to just snow. But plowing. then everything will get, will evolve with it, though. Yeah, eventually. Like, That's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, sure bro. We'll get to it's, that point where it's like, we'll know how to, like, make the roads not. Slippery, right? Yeah, like all day, every day, right? Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's just changed. Like, eventually, it's gonna be just... a fuck ton of shoveling, though. A fuck ton of what? A fuck ton of shoveling. Oh, hell yeah, shoveling, but see, eh? that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm gonna just have to change my whole career and just start my own, like, because in the summer, park. all you do is what just cut grass, cut grass, fix houses, paint roofs, yeah. windows. Garden and imagine trying painting. to get all that shit done plus snow because snow gets on more than just the grass, that shit gets on everything. Imagine doing your roofing with snow. There, there's there, that's I what mean, I'm saying. People, people work, it basically, it. it's work times too. Yeah, definitely. For anything else, you're fighting the labor work, you're fighting the weather. Do people play soccer in the snow? Like professional soccer? No. Or do they just go indoors only? Yeah, I guess they just switch to indoor. I mean, unless you just having a little game with your friends, I guess. It should be crazy. I'd rather play football, like and tackle football. They, I think they do, they do do football right in the snow. 
Uh, not professionally. Well, I mean, sometimes in the games it snows. So. Maybe. I guess. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah there's been some snow days in the football season. Chicago. Snow down here. True. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, you ready for this workout session? True. <laughs> <laughs> Are your knees ready? Nah. It's, it's gonna be quick, though. I'm not trying to. Does Calabrar? Yeah, she's gonna be like a tour. A tour. Like, uh. <laughs> Watch, I die. Nah. <laughs> you know, just come out the window flying out. Fuck! Don! I'm not. La marihuana me está cortando la cabeza. Es muy poderosa. Es. Está sabrosa, güey. Está sabrosa. Yup. Fucking. De Jalisco. Nah. You see, güey. Bro, I just found out Michoacán. Bro. The, the state of Jalisco is Michoacán. Yo, what's it called? The, have, you, yeah. have you been to Mexico? Yeah. What's, what part? Jalisco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh. found out and telling you, bro. I was like, what? Jalisco, Michoacán? Oh. Yeah. Wow. So I've been to Guadalajara and I've been to Eliana, right. Michoacan. Right. But dude, there's used to be this ice cream man. Have you have you smoked uh, weed in Mexico? Nah, I've been around it though. I never have tried it though. Really? Is it good? Did you smoke when you were around it? Mm, no, I haven't tried it. I said I was because my cousin, bro, this man's had like eleven plants in his crib. Mm. Like it was nice though. He had he had like a bunch of dogs, like pit bulls, like he would train them. And then he'll he'll breed them and sell them, and then his house, bro, is just like it's basically like a greenhouse. You got plants everywhere, and then it's like yeah. weed plant. Oh, it's just it's cool. It's a cool experience, dude. When I was like, I want to say fifteen, fourteen. Uh huh. Um, I went to Mexico, right? And I was cool as fuck. I've been going to Mexico since I was like four or five. Yeah. So I'm yeah. kind of used to some people there, you yeah. know, to, like everybody pretty much knows. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A, it's a very small little uh top. mountain top. Yeah. And so I was cool to talk with the ice cream man. Like he he'd have these like vanilla ice cream sandwiches. Okay. They're fucking bomb. I'd always uh, he'd make sure to get extra those because I'd be I'd buy oh, like like three oh, or four oh, for the okay. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell and yeah. And it was like daily. <laughs> Bro, nah, man, nah. Because you know they come to us because they got they're always going around the little pueblo uh -huh. in their little cart. Right. So every morning at the same time he'd be like. It's my boy. Just waiting for you. And yeah, shit. He know he like, gonna, that's the day right there. He's, he's like, oh, it's this month for two <laughs> for two whole ass weeks. Yeah. I business for days. Nah, for real. I used to um, uh, when I was in Mexico, there was mm -hmm. uh, you know how they have the little stores. Mm -hmm. It's like literally like two two three houses down the street, and um, I was I would buy a lot, bro. I get the penguinos, like I get like three of them, mm -hmm. motherfuckers. I get like four bags of uh, chips, and then True. I get the big gallons and the of, drinks uh, in the bag. Yeah, bro. I'll be like. I'd be at least spending like 100 to 200 pesos, bro. But the crazy part of that story is uh, when I was like 14 or 15, uh -huh. his vibe changed a little bit. He, he was still the happy, like, yeah. ice cream selling guy. But right. when he came up to me, he gave me my same shit. And he was, he, uh, he's got like a steel cart. Uh -huh. It's got like a tray and a bag for his money. And the little top comes off, right, for the ice cream. Yeah. But he had a necklace. And the necklace had like a... It kind of looked like a ring, uh -huh. but it was like a flat ring. Okay. And he put that ring up to the thing, and he's like, hold on, you want to buy some of this too? And he put the ring up to the corner of the cart, and the little bar where he where he grabs under it, there was a tray. Uh -huh. He pulled the tray out, but he had a hella weed, no dude. No way. What the fuck? Like, yo. Bro, that's crazy. Man, <laughs> that never happened to me. And, what the hell? And he it never smelled. Cause he had a, like a like a sealed tight thing, yeah. bro. I don't that's know cool. what the he made fuck. his little homemade uh, ice cream yeah. weed court. Yeah, so he sells weed to people and shit, and bro, he go it, ice cream and weed all no, day. That not happen. Bro, that's crazy. Imagine, imagine we had those here. We're just mm -hmm. going out to, uh, which is, you know, imagine. But the crazy, crazy though. The crazy part is. Um, I didn't start smoking till I was nineteen, so I didn't. I said right, yeah. What, so I said so, so what you fuck said? yeah to the ice cream, but not to you the. Said, uh, what you said? No, el diablo. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit was fucked. Damn man. 
don't know. I don't even know. I'm you, pretty sure he's oh, you still ha- you alive. Say you haven't gone, yeah, you haven't gone back, right? You haven't yeah, I haven't seen. been there in a minute. I haven't been in, like, what? Eight Most, years, I think? Eight years. So how long? Like six was years? That, was that the last time you went? Uh, it was probably, like, six or seven years. Oh. I don't know. Is the vibe changed? The people were kind of different? Like, it was the same. It was, like, double the people, I guess. But it was, like, different. I wasn't really into it. Yeah. So, that's so I just stopped. stopped go- I stopped going. So you stopped going. Yeah. Cause you felt like they they weren't the same. I don't know. I felt like it was kind of dying down. Mm. Shit was changing. Right. I was like, yeah, it's kind of boring. So I was like, yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty dead, bro. I mean, yeah. unless you know people out there, unless you have a big family. Yeah. Or they have. I don't know if but the a food lot of is fucking Oh yeah the food man oof. That's the thing bro The game the, is different the, Every day yeah, bro. Every spot Every corner Yeah God, damn. It's cause it's homemade bro And dude It's homemade <sighs> That's what it is The food was fucking great And I like that The little gadgets Shit is always different Like you can go to any little shop And they have like Stupid little t- Like toys yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. Like <laughs> You like those so You like yeah Well I mean I, I mainly went when I was a kid Yeah so. Shit, I still right now. They got the what they make a, a speaker out of a like a beer can or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then you like see there's it. dude, there's people that collect miniature like bicycle figures, like uh-huh. they're realistic figures that move and everything, yeah. like actual bikes, real brands and shit. Yeah. And they'll have them as displays. There's people that collect like straight only Godzilla figures, movies and shit. Yeah. Like you'll see posts for only that. Right. Like that shit's pretty dope. Yeah, there's a lot of creative people over there did you ever hear like you don't know when you were in mexico oh dude i got a fucking story about that i got stories about no spirits way. and ghosts for days okay 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 <laughs> uh, let me start with you said that you're on it bro hold on should i just go get the weed right now or should we do it at the end it doesn't matter La you on it so I have this cousin in Mexico. She was taking care of a younger cousin, right? Okay. And the aunt was there, okay. but the aunt was asleep. It was at night. Okay. So the aunt and the female, no, no, the older cousin and the younger cousin were hearing a girl cry outside. So the older one, she went outside, and she was on the road. It was it was a one way road. Uh-huh big long street and she uh she looked down the road and she said it was a a lady like a like a teen like an older teenage lady uh-huh. all in white slowly walking like she didn't have shoes on and shit and towards, like, towards your house towards yeah towards house. her and that's when the mom she heard the mom yell come back home that's not a person and she went back home but the weird shit is the mom never woke up Wait, so, what? the older uh, okay, so the it older was, cousin it was, it was era la tía mom, y los, hijos, yeah. los dos hijos. Ella escuchó a su tía uh-huh. y la tía nunca se nunca, se, nunca estaba despierta. So she heard it herself. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Man. So she saw the lady. She didn't freak out. Nah, she said she didn't see the face. It was just like hair. And she was wearing a white dress. Wow. You know that cousin? Yeah. Person? You want to hear one from my mom? Yes, I do. Fucking. In Mexico, it was the same house. My. Because my grandma had like, what, 12, 11 kids? And my mom and my uncle, they would have like a body mirror inside the closet body mirror yeah so like when they're changing they can like dress themselves and whatever yeah but it was inside the closet right and one of the beds it was two twins but they were separated right for the my mom and my uncle but my uncle his was in front of the mirror okay and this one night it was just them two and my grandma and my grandma said all right good night whatever it was like 10 10 30 ish in the house yeah or in the room and my grandma went to sleep 
and I think they heard they heard some shit in the window because like so like let's say it's facing me I'm in, I'm in my uncle's right bed, this is the right? bed and yeah the I'm, right I'm laying right here right I'm like four feet that way same position right here because my mom right but in front of my uncle which is me there's the mirror <laughs> and right up here uh-huh. there was a fucking a window, a window an actual window oh. to the outside okay but in that window i don't know if they saw people or they saw wolves but it was something trippy in the window but when they looked in the mirror through the window because you can see the mirror right you can see the window in the mirror that you saw like three big ass dogs in the room in front of the mirror three big ass dogs yeah like full ass dogs that's what my uncle saw that's why he was crying and what? like tripping how weird as fuck I think they were like nine or eight. What? And, and my mo- mom was trying to calm my cousin down. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? Right. So he was the only one that saw you. Mom didn't see anything. Yeah, my mom didn't see shit. What? That's crazy. Because she was on the other side of the... Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you said that the window was right behind your uncle's bed. And then when he looked at the at the mirror drawer, he saw three big full-ass dogs. Yeah, three big ass full, like. And he was awake. He was the only one awake, or was your no, mom? No, my awake? mom and my uncle were awake. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, if my mom would have walked up to my cousin, or I mean, my uncle, would she have seen it too? Right. Yeah. But I mean, he would, they were both in the same room, though. He would. have... Oh, he just saw in the mirror. In the mirror. Yeah. Oh. That was inside the closet. But I mean, couldn't she see it though? Like. It was one of the walk-in closets. Like, you take one step with the hangers. You know what I mean? But, like, it wasn't, like, visible. Like, let's say we just put them in right there. Like, she's right here. She can't see it. Um, or you don't like remember. If, like, if the door was there. See, wait, como si. I mean, it was, what, you said it was a walk-in closet? Or what like, it was? it was like a little square. You right. know, like the wall. And then it goes oh, four feet Oh, and in. it goes like, oh, like oh okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, okay. Because it had a body. Mirror. Right, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That's weird, though. I, I mean, they Mexico, didn't, they didn't get know, hit. Or be weird, they bro. didn't get scratched or nothing. But they heard in Sasha. Bro, there was, I worked with this lady at the when I used to work in Bright Star. Man, this lady has stories for days. But in... in because they did, they did mention that back in the day, I mean, they didn't have TV. They didn't have the things we have today to keep us entertained. Yeah. So most of the things were ma- kind of made up. So they were just smoking weed and eating I shrooms. guess they were smoking fucking weed and just making up stories, bro, <laughs> to entertain their kids and to, or to scare, and scare the shit out of them because most of the stories are pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. But, like, she was saying, bro, and, like, she would not stutter. She would, like, keep on saying, like, it, if it actually happened. So mm-hmm. kind of my mind was like, uh, like, she's kind of telling the truth or she's making it up yeah but man they're interesting i can't remember like i can't remember one like like the full story but they were pretty they were pretty sketchy Oof. pretty crazy a lot of crazy stories in mexico i have one but i don't know if it's real or not to be honest who I, told you it was i was there i'm the one that like oh, saw you? It oh for real but i, I don't know if i was what just mean it wasn't real I don't know if it, it. maybe I was tweaking as a kid or something. You know? I don't think kids tweak, bro. <laughs> so what happened is I was like what, like seven, six? No, no, no. I was like seven or eight, and I was at my neighbor's house. We would play a uh, hide and go. Like when there was like no one, in, like no adults in the house, yeah. we would use the whole house as hide and go seek. No way. So we were playing this one time. It was three of us, three neighbor kids in one house. And whose house was it? The one in the middle. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, well, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you the address. Right? Or some no, shit. I'm not. I mean, I wasn't expecting you to give me the address. <laughs> I was just. I don't know. But um. Era mexicano también. Yeah, we were all Mexican. Well, but I, it was in. It was over here in this area. Oh, aquí en Estados Unidos. Yeah. Oh shit. And. I'm forgetting details because I'm pretty big. Okay, you're the kid in the middle. Oh, What's we decided else? to start playing to make shit harder. We were playing with all the lights off. So we was playing, it at night? Yeah. Damn. It was at night, all the lights off. We were playing hide and go seek. Fuck. And I just, me and my other friend decided mm. to... Tag along. To both hide under the kitchen table. Mm-hmm. And kitchen I was... Table. Oh, okay. 
And I'm like a little bitch when it comes to playing in the, like doing right. anything scary. Right. Shit yeah. Fucking trips me out. Hell yeah. And I was under the table with my eyes closed, but my neighbor had his eyes open, mm. and I heard like like a horse walking. Oh shit! My friend said he saw horse legs, but we were inside a kitchen, and like. We lived in like a neighborhood. Yeah. Like there's no fucking way that would there's, happen. Yeah, there's no fucking Without way. it being that calm. And what happened? Where was your, where was the friend that was supposed to be looking for you guys? He said he was on the second floor looking for us. So he didn't hear or see anything. But me and two people heard. Right. And one of them saw something. Right, yeah. So that was trippy as fuck. That is trippy, man. Yeah. I kind of like, I'm like, damn, I should open my eyes low key. Yeah. Like low key seen something like crazy for real but i for sure know i heard something i, right, heard, yeah. I heard the little the little the little stuff yeah that's crazy the I other dude saw it i don't know some probably your neighbor bought a horse bro <laughs> <laughs> true big ass horse he was hiding it or something in the garage mm-hmm. you have any spiritual encounters or some shit seen a ghost maybe uh, <laughs> A ghost suck your dick while you were asleep in your bed. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Um, Is this shit done? I think there's still some in there. I think. There's more in there, you know. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Yes, I did. I did. Um, I They say cuando se te sube el muerto, wey. But it's um, uh, my stepdad said it was sleep paralysis. And you just like open your eyes and like you can't move your body. And, yeah. uh, I mean, I don't know. I've just like, been having a lot of. Ah. I've had a lot of crazy dreams like that. Where? Are you awake? Yeah, like I'm like, like I'm awake and uh, it's just some crazy stuff happening. My mom said that when I was younger, I'd say some fucked up crazy shit to my mom. This one time, I was, I think, like five or four. Obviously, I don't remember that. Right. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. But she said I was in Mexico with her. And it was just me, a couple aunts, my mom. And we were taking... They had like the like a minivan, but right. with no seats in the middle. It was like seats all around. Oh, okay. So it was like random people. It was, it was me uh, and my mom. It was el pinche... ¿Cómo yeah. se llama? La combi. Yeah. Yeah. So right next to my mom, I was sitting there. And my mom said that I looked dead ass at her. Like I was playing on my thing. I put my like game down. I look dead at her, and I'm just like, like, I'm gonna say it in Spanish, right? And then I'm gonna say it in English again, right? But I was like, "Cuando me muera, me voy a morir. Like I'm gonna die soon. Uh, no me traigas flores. That shit's like lame." <laughs> what? No way. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like predicting that I was gonna die soon. That shit was weird as fuck. Wait, you? Like, he says, "Cuando me muera." No me traigas flores. Yeah, eso es como... I forgot what word I used, but it was a word to say, like, nah, that's lame. Like, don't put that. There. Aburrido? Eso es aburrido. Um, like, no es chido. No es chido? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that shit was fucking weird. Like, what I, game I, were you playing, bro? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? That's the best stuff. Like, a five-year-old yeah. was saying that. <laughs> and my mom was... She didn't know like, what the fuck to say. She was just like... What? Nah, don't yeah. say silly stuff like that. Mm. And I was like, right. Wow, that's that crazy, shit was bro. weird as fuck. <laughs> shit. Damn. I don't know. Um, crazy stories, like ghost stories. Dude, you seen the graveyards in Mexico? They, they look fucking beautiful compared mm-hmm. to fucking, uh, like, what is it? U.S. states graveyards. Cause um, in Mexico um, they'll make like a bed out of like straight crystals and shit, with like the picture of the dude. Yeah. Like just, they'll make like an arch of flowers that gets like fresh flowers every yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just the uh, they have a name for them, no? It's just like know. a whole circle. Like even stuff. when they when someone happens, you know, when someone dies on the street, like that's where they put a bunch of like. Oh yeah, well they still do that here. Like I here they something. put candles, but over oh. there they'll make like a cross out of flowers. Oh okay. And every once in a while, someone will change the flowers. Yeah. 
Like they'll be there for a couple of years when that guy. All right. Well, appreciate everybody that watched. If you want to see more fitness shit, go on Rico Flex TV. Yes, sir. Uh, gaming shit and this podcast. A RPG search. RPC dirt. R- RPG search. My freaking tongue is dry.